So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Byte 4 of Learning Python in Bytes. We are going to learn about uh, user validating user input. It's going to be very, very useful for our game, so let's get started. Okay, as always, if you go to curval.com, Curval Learning Portal, and then you go to Byte 4, you'll have all the information about the challenge. And this is what we're going to learn. We're going to uh, change the username, whatever username they give us when we ask them to proper casing. We're going to validate the different variations of yes and no to make sure that if they capitalize yes or just, you know, uh, proper case it or whatever, we still accept that. And then we will validate any other input, whatever they give us to make sure that they answer what we need them to answer to move forward in the game. Okay? So this is how it's going to look. This will be the text that we have in the beginning and then do you accept the challenge? You can actually write here yes and it will still accept it let me run it again so you can write yes and it will accept still the name and then you if i write ruth like that it will capitalize it okay and then if i run maybe answer maybe then it will say sorry but we don't allow that you need to say yes or no so say no and say bye bye okay so this is what we're going to do. So click here for the to take you to Kerbal Data Labs on GitHub and then opening collabs so you actually have a copy of the notebook and you can run it with me. Okay. So convert the name to proper case. And yes, first let's start with where we left off on byte three and run that like that and then shift enter and it says do you accept the challenge yes what's your name ruth hi ruth okay cool so what we want to do first is we want to make sure that whatever name they give us we do proper casing that means the first letter is a capital letter and the other one the rest is lowercase and to do that the only thing that you need to do is here on participant add Title. So title is Python's answer to proper casing. Okay, so let's give it the world. So it said yes. And then what is your name? I'm going to put everything in capital letters and it proper case it. Beautiful. Okay, now let's copy the code. Move in here and then test your code answering capital letters yes. So as you can see, if we Write anything else that is not lowercase yes or no lowercase no, the program does nothing because we haven't told them what to do. But that is not very user friendly. If they write yes or no in any variation, we should accept it. We should account for it and we should accept it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So to do this step, you first need to think what type of variations the user is going to have writing yes or no. And I can think that probably it's like a different uh, combination of uppercase and lowercase like you can see, or maybe they slip a space without noticing that. So those things are we're going to account for. So I'm going to copy the first part of the um, code. And then I'm going to start showing you different ways to enter. So if I put here lower to the name, what it will do is whatever way they write it, it will lowercase everything, right? Because we want to accept yes or no as lowercase. And then I'm going to show you this one that will strip all the um, spaces uh, on a word. So if they write space, yes, space, or if they write yes, and then they put a space without noticing that, we strip them out, okay? And then the combination is to put that, the lower, and dot strip, it will do both, okay? So now we're going to test it. I want you to see. So if I write yes, Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This has to be like that. Uh, obviously, the print statement has to be like that. 
that is doing. So if I write yes, so you can see the first print is whatever we wrote, the second one lowercase it, the third one it removes spaces that were not spacing here, and then this is the correct one, this is the one that will get returned to us. Let's try it again. So if I write space, space, no, and shift enter, then you can see space, space, no, this is lowercase in it, this removes the um, spaces, and here it removes the spaces and makes it lowercase. So beautiful. It looks like we have a winner here. So we're going to copy all that, put it in there, and then we're going to, instead of us accept challenge in here, we're going to paste the new accept challenge with all the validations that we wanted. So we go shift enter, yes, with space, and it asks for our name, beautiful, Ruth. I'm going to put in capital letters and proper casing, gorgeous. Now, let's run this beauty once more, but this time we're going to say maybe, oh, with B, <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't do anything because we have an account for it. So how do you do that in uh, Python? It actually took me a little while to get this working, actually. Um, what you will do to um, validate input is to use a while statement. So you say, while this is true, keep going, otherwise do this, right? So the trick here is that the while loop has to be a negative one. You will say, if the user answers something else that is not yes or no, which is what the answers that you want, then ask the question again. Otherwise, ask for the name or say bye-bye or, you know, whatever it is. So the while statement has to be the negative one because that's where you validate what you know that you want and then the rest will execute. Let me show you. So the way you write it is you say while, while, true, I think it's called, while true, yeah. So true and false is always capital, the proper case. I do it all the time wrong. So while true, then we're going to accept the challenge, ask the question. So you want to accept the challenge. And then this is where you write the negative is if statement. So it goes like if, sorry, if, and then you need to continue doing this, right? So you need to continue writing the, um, you need to add the validation. You, you want to account for any type of yes or no, that will be accept, accepted. But then instead of saying is equal to, we want to say it's not equal to. And the way to do it is with the um, uh, exclamation mark. So exclamation mark equal, it means it's not yes. And copy paste again, it's not no in any variation of form. No, no, no. So then you should print uh, we only accept yes or no answers, please. I'll try again. <laughs> I'll try again. And then we're going to put a, a um, line feed. So in the next part, we will say, how do you forced them to go up to the loop and ask again, you just write continue, continue. So while this is true, which means that if they are not answering yes or no, go back again and ask, <laughs> okay? Print like, a, sorry, that's not correct. And then it will go up here and said, accept the challenge. So until they answer what we want, they will continue asking the question. If they do, uh, answer what we want, we're going to do else, and then we're going to do a break. That means get out of the loop. 
we don't want you to ask again. They've done what we want them to do, right? And then if they do that, then we go to the normal stuff and it's like, okay, ask them if it is yes, this, if it's no, that, okay? So let's give it the world. Hopefully I wrote this right. So do you accept, accept the challenge? And you write maybe. And they say, we only accept yes or no answers. Please try again. Do you accept the challenge? And then you say, mm, don't know. Don't know. Cool, right? And then if you say yes, I'll ask you for your name. And then print the greetings. It will greet you and say hi. If you say no, in any shape or form, it will um, end the game. How cool is that? I mean, once you understand the structure of the wild statement, it's actually quite easy, but it took me a while to figure out that I had to do the negative first. But yeah, it, once you get it, it's easy. So now your job is to put this byte together, okay? Where you validate any possible answer that they give you to make sure that you accept for any variation of yes or no, your proper case, the username, and if they write Anything else that is not yes or no, you ask them again and you say what answer you're expecting from them. Okay? So, yeah. This is all for today. Just as always, let me know what you think of the challenge, if it's going too fast, too slow, too anything. And uh, we'll see what we can do about it. Okay. See you in the next bite.